When someone tells you no, doesn't it make you just want to do that even more? Have you ever tried to prove yourself to someone just because they told you you couldn't do something? If you answered yes, you are just like Rose Justice, the main character in the book, Rose Under Fire. Hi, I'm Rose Justice. I'm 18 years old and I'm a civilian pilot in the war. I'm so excited to finally be here. I am one of only a few female pilots here. These men around here sure do think they dominate us. My dream is to be a military pilot, but I doubt that will ever happen because I am a girl. Don't you hate being told you can't do something? Ugh, I know I do. I guess it's a teenager thing, or maybe it's a girl thing. I'm not sure. But anyways, I want to be out there in the war. I want to be tipping those pilotless planes. Those evil things are what killed our friend and co-pilot, Celia. Gosh, this war is just awful. It seems every day you hear of someone you know being killed. I sure do worry about my neck. Oh, my neck. When the war is over, maybe we'll get married. Who knows? He asked me to marry him now. But I'm not going to do what every other couple in this war is doing and rush off to get married. I have been taken as a prisoner at Ravensbrück concentration camp by the Germans on my very first flight over German territory. They stripped me down and examined me in front of everyone. They shaved my head. They beat me. They starved me. But all of that was nothing compared to what they were doing to the Polish women. The medical experiments were killing them. And on the days they were still alive, they were in agonizing pain and could barely walk. And through all of this, this is what is the most shocking. We kept hope. I regained my hope and optimism so that I could help my Polish friends. I would tell stories dreaming of Nick and my new friendships kept me going each day but most importantly my newest war mission to tell the world one day I would tell the world about what was going on inside of this hell on earth I would make sure that these women's stories were shared and never forgotten what rose and the other women experienced was unimaginable. How do you think they were able to find hope? Have you ever found hope in a hopeless place? What is it about the human spirit that keeps us going even at our lowest point?